Hey y'all, so for today, I'm going to be showing you how to take a bikini bottom. So these are just kind of a full back coverage bikini bottom and how to scrunch the back uh, to kind of fit the, the newer trend of the more Brazilian look. Um, so these ones were uh, really cute. I liked them. I actually got them at Walmart. They were, I don't know, $10. Um, but I didn't like that they were so full coverage in the back. So I decided I was gonna buy them for the you know cheap $10 price and then scrunch them myself. So you're gonna need um, a sewing machine. You can do it by hand. I prefer to do it on my sewing machine just because I have a stretch stitch, stretch stitch function on here and uh, that will allow the cloth itself to stretch and be less likely to pop the stitches. Uh, but it's not, necessary it's just more my preference um you'll also need a pen um, a pair of scissors some of the elastic i'm using the quarter inch elastic um just got this at my local craft store and then you're going to need a straight edge because the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to find the center of the bikini back so i use the tag kind of as a guide and i'm going to draw a line from the top to the bottom. I'd normally just do a dotted line, uh, but I'm gonna use the straight edge to draw that line. That's gonna be my guide for when I'm putting the elastic on. All right, so you can see I used the tag as my guide and found uh, the center on the bottom. Um, I could use that liner there as the center point. And I just drew a dotted line. I'm going to scrunch the full length, uh, but it's up to you. If you just want just a little scrunch at the top, um, you won't need to do the full line, uh, but I just, I wanna do the full back because I like a, a more Brazilian type of look. So now I'm going to take some of my elastic and I'm gonna cut um, a, a decent size amount. I don't need the full length of the bikini because I'm gonna end up stretching it as I stitch it. Um, but I like to have just a little excess left over just in case um, and then I can trim it off afterwards. So I've got my elastic. All right, so the first thing is um, you really should probably pin the elastic on, but I right now don't know where my straight pins are because uh, I just recently moved. So I'm just going to place the elastic right over the top of that center dotted line. And I'm gonna place it on my sewing machine so that I can kind of use the feet to hold it in place for me. And you can see that I've got that elastic that's draped along that line there. Um, so I'm going to make a few stitches uh, and kind of go back and forth a few times just to make sure that it's actually uh, secured on there. So. So now the trick after I've gotten this secured onto my fabric is I'm going to use this guide and I need to stretch the elast elastic as I'm stitching. So it's kind of um, a little bit of a, a process you have to kind of learn how to do. Actually, I'm going to untie these because it's just getting obnoxious. Here we go. So I'm going to pull and use that guide to lay the elastic across the line that I've created. and guide the fabric through along that line. 
the tighter I pull the elastic, the tighter the scrunch is going to be. So if you want a really nice tight scrunch, you're gonna really need to pull the elastic as tight as possible. And I'm gonna go slow because I don't accidentally want to guide off of my elastic. So uh, maybe if you are a little bit more of a seasoned uh, sewing machinist, maybe you can go a little bit faster than I can, but I'm just gonna go nice and steady because I wanna make sure I get my straight line and my elastic as tight as possible. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm also using my tag at the back, or at least just the back of the bikini bottom, to pull up so that I make sure that the fabric stays nice and tight and flat. So you wanna keep doing that while you're guiding your fabric through. All right, now I've gotten to the bottom where the lining of the uh, bottom of the bathing suit is. So now I'm going to backstitch a couple times here just to make sure that it's nice and tight. All right, so now I'm done. I'm gonna trim my threads here. All right, so as you can see, I've made this very scrunchy, um, but I do have you know my excess elastic at the bottom. Obviously you see I had a little too much, but for me, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm gonna trim that. I'm gonna trim uh, my little pieces of thread here, and then we'll show you the end result. All right, so now here are my scrunched backed bottoms. And um, I will say that one of the most important things when you're making the scrunch back is to really make sure that it's as centered as possible because once you put these on, if it's not centered, your booty is gonna look a little funny because the scrunch is gonna be off. So that is how to scrunch your bottoms in less than 10 minutes.